Hello my fellow scientists, today I want to talk about meta-meta-science, by which I mean if talking about science, so like the uh, popular science literature, is meta-science, then this is science about popular science about science. So meta-meta-science. So the story starts with this company, Accelerated Evolution Biotechnologies. And they've got a nice website and they made an announcement of a new technology that they are using to do phage display and attack multiple cancer targets all at the same time. So that's really interesting, but they don't yet have a peer-reviewed study on the results that they're publishing. And there have been lots of studies looking at overcoming multidrug resistance. So this is a review article published in uh, Biomedical Research International that talks about 50 different ways that people have tried to overcome multidrug resistance, right? and there are lots of them. So AEBI's technology is probably very interesting, and it's probably very good, and I'm glad that they're doing that research, but unfortunately this got picked up by a newspaper and a little exaggerated, and it went on to spread without a lot of critical thought being applied. So if you can kill cancer cells in a dish, and you can kill cancer cells in a mouse, you're on step two of about 50 to <laughs> curing cancer. And a lot of things had made it to step two, and some of them have gone on to step 10 and 20, and some of them have even gone on to really make the treatment of certain kinds of cancer much, much better. But we don't yet have a cure for cancer. And that's really because cancer isn't one disease. It's many, many diseases, and there really isn't going to be one treatment. There are going to be different treatments for different types of cancer. And this may be a great way to go after many of them, but it's not, a, it's not what it was set out to be by this news article. Unfortunately, other news agencies picked it up. They didn't really go on to look at the original research and challenge it. And so it just spread from one pop science writer to another and then throughout the internet. Some publications did a great job of picking up on the overblown, unqualified statements, but some of them didn't. So this was a really interesting science project in itself, right? How does a topic move through the blogosphere? How does it get represented incorrectly? How does it get represented correctly? How do we measure that? How do we measure reach and impact of meta science as it were group came up with a nice little art write-up about how that's so i'll put a link in the description to this interesting article about the article about the article <laughs> and now this is a vlog about the article about the article about the article so is this meta 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 science anyway uh check out those links i think they're pretty interesting uh we'll be back to uh other topics including research from this lab next week so please do tune in uh, this has been Peter Allen for the Allen Lab.